we told you about the shortage of police officers in Tr Detroit. It's making it harder to reverse a recent upswing in homicides. Well, today, Police Chief James Craig responding to those startling numbers. 7 Action News investigator Ross Jones has more tonight from the newsroom. Ross. Stephen, good evening. When the chief started on the force in the 1970s, the city was, of course, bigger and it had a lot of cops, about 5,500. Today, though, the force is just a fraction of that size, and Chief Craig is trying to fix that. Things are changing in Detroit, and I'm excited to be a part of that. Despite having fewer officers on the streets than we've seen in generations, Chief James Craig said today there's no question his department is doing more with less. Overall crime, uh, year to date, we're sitting at a 13% reduction, uh, which is, exceeds the goal. We set a very soft goal or modest goal of 5%. His comments come a day after news reports that the DPD staffing level is at its lowest since the 1920s, less than 1,600 officers on the streets. The one thing that's not being talked about is the inefficiencies that we saw coming in the door two years ago. Craig says that in just the last year, he's put 200 more officers on the street, and he plans to add 400 more by the end of 2016. He's done it through new hiring, but also through redeployment, taking officers off of desk duty and putting them on the street. He knows that attracting more officers won't be easy as long as pay, starting at only $14 an hour, doesn't improve. He's working to fix that, but says Detroiters he runs into on the streets say he's moving DPD in the right direction. They say, I see more police. It seems like you're all out doing the job. Now, the chief says in his two years on the job, the 911 response time for life threatening calls has dropped from 38 minutes to just 18. That is still too high, of course, but it is a sign of real progress. Of course, not all violent crime is down in the city. Homicides up dramatically from last year. Chief Craig hoping those numbers will turn around when he gets to add more cops to the street. Carolyn. All right, thanks a lot, Ross.